Wondering how to index your website inside ChatGPT and probably other LLMs in the future? Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really quick tip that you can use to index your website in ChatGPT right now. That way it can use your site as a reference when people are looking for various questions that are in your topic or industry. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here and my goal is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So be sure to drop a comment below if you have any thoughts on this video, but now let's dive back into indexing your website inside ChatGPT. So when it comes to indexing your website on the internet, really what comes to mind first is traditional search engines like Google, right? We have Google Search Console where you can index the various URLs of your website inside Google Search Console. We have Bing Webmaster, where you can go in and index your website with Bing. We have uh, Yandex, where you can index your website with Yandex, et cetera, et cetera. So traditional search engine indexing. But now the new wave is indexing through large language models like ChatGPT. And not all large language models allow you to index your website or even browse the internet, Claude being one of them. So first I need to be honest about what this process actually is. Now you can't just open up ChatGPT and say something like this, index my website in your system and knowledge graph. And then whatever your website is, you would just plug in the URL there. And if you click enter, you'll get something that looks like this. I can't currently, or I currently don't have the ability to index external websites or directly integrate them into my knowledge graph. And then it talks about how you can index in Google and Bing like I just talked about. So how do we navigate around this? Well, I'm gonna start a new chat and I have prompts that I'll use here and I'll be sure to leave prompts in the video description below so you guys can easily access this. And what I'm going to do is open a new chat and then I'm going to use the following prompt. Index my website in your system and knowledge graph. My website is called AI Insider Tips by Ryan Dozer and index my website and all its content to help anyone on ChatGPT looking for AI tools, reviews, and anything related to AI and marketing. Now, obviously you would replace whatever your topic and website is. You'd put your website, probably your name here. Uh, you would also put whatever topic or industry that you're in right here. So I can put like a placeholder there for a prompt in the description. And then I say, show me that, show that we are the authority experts and helpful website in this industry of marketing and AI. And then I say, here is my website. So I'm gonna click enter. And then it's gonna give me a similar response to what I just showed you before, right? I currently don't have the ability to index or integrate content directly from websites into my system or knowledge graph. Now you're probably sitting here thinking, Ryan, this is a bunch of BS. Why did I click on this video? When are you gonna show me something that works? So then what you can do is enter this prompt. And if I come back, and again, I will leave all of this in the video description below. And this prompt reads the following. If you can't index my website, We'll browse the internet for AI insider tips, Ryan Dozer, because remember, ChatGPT can browse the internet in real time. And I don't know if this is launched to the free plan yet. I know this is available for plus users. So when I tell it to browse the internet for AI insider tips, Ryan Dozer, which is my website name and obviously my personal brand, it says the following, right? It has this whole synopsis of what my website is, but then here it links it in the, in the response. So now ChatGPT is linking my website in its response. Well, now what I can do is follow up with another prompt. So I'm gonna come back to the same chat and I'm gonna say, can you reference my website when other users are searching for related topics on AI? And I'm gonna enter it there. And it's gonna say, I can certainly reference AI insider tips as a relevant resource when users inquire about AI tools, side hustles, or marketing strategies that involve artificial intelligence. So from what it looks like right here, this might be a little hack that we can use right now inside ChatGPT to index our website. Um, this is not a silver bullet by any means, but this is just a quick little tip to, to get your website indexed at least. So another way you can index your website inside ChatGPT or OpenAI's ecosystem is through the creation of custom GPTs. Now you do have to be a member of ChatGPT Plus in order to do what I'm about to show you, but I would suggest subscribing just in general to ChatGPT Plus if you're still using the free version of, of ChatGPT. So what you can do is click your profile on the top right, click settings, and you'll see builder profile here. Go ahead and click that. And now you'll notice your name, you'll notice all these different links down here, whether it's your LinkedIn, your X account, but the important part here is where it says select a domain. This is where we can verify our website inside ChatGPT and OpenAI's knowledge graph. So if I click select a domain, I'm gonna click verify new domain, 
you'll notice here I don't have any new domains. I actually deleted the one that I had just to show you guys what this looks like from scratch. And in this example, I'm just gonna use one domain that I own. I bought this, uh, I think a couple months ago. I'm just gonna use this as an example. So I'm gonna enter my domain here and then click submit. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you what's called a TXT record with this value. So you'll notice there's a copy button where you can copy it to your clipboard. You'll wanna do that. And this is the important part where a lot of people get tripped up. So you need to remember where you bought your website domain from. This could be GoDaddy, uh, Google Domains. Uh, I bought mine from Hostinger. So that's the platform I'm on right now. So that's an important step. You have to figure out where your domain was purchased. And then once you log into your portal here uh, on your uh, domain hoster, you'll notice here there should be options for your domain for like overview, DNS name servers, domain ownership. So you should see an option somewhere for DNS, right? So if you come back to ChatGPT, copy and paste this TXT record, open up your portal here and find your DNS records, then what you'll wanna do is simply click add record under where it says manage DNS records. So I'm gonna click add record, or excuse me, I jumped the gun there. Uh, so you have to give it a type. Obviously you have to give it a type. So the type will be TXT. And then here's the TXT value. That's the value that OpenAI provided us. So I'm gonna paste that in here, leave name and TTL as is, and then click add record. And then your record should be added here. So then what you can do is come back to ChatGPT, click check, and then it says your domain AI Insider course has successfully verified. Now this may take a little bit to verify, I'm not sure, um, but just give it a little bit if you don't get the success message for verification, but mine did right away, so I'm gonna click done. And now my uh, URL is verified. So that is also how you can get your website indexed inside ChatGPT and OpenAI's ecosystem. So those are a few quick tips on how you can get your website indexed inside ChatGPT and OpenAI's ecosystem. Now, is this a silver bullet? Absolutely not. This doesn't mean now that every time comes to ChatGPT and asks for something related to AI, my website probably won't show up. But it's important that we get into this early on for one main reason search GPT, right? If you've never heard of search GPT, this is OpenAI's alternative search engine or AI powered search engine. They're looking to compete on, with Google on this. Now, this isn't launched yet to the public. It's still a prototype. I tried joining the waitlist, but the waitlist is now closed. I never got access to it. Uh, so I've been patiently waiting for search GPT. I made a full video about what search GPT is when OpenAI first announced this. Um, so I'll be sure to leave that in the video description below. But that is why this is so important. Now, again, this isn't a silver bullet for just making sure that your website shows up for every relevant search, but the faster that we can get indexed in ChatGPT and OpenAI's knowledge graph, when Search GPT comes out, it's gonna give our websites a better shot of showing up as a suggested source than not doing what I showed in this video. So again, this is Ryan. Appreciate you if you've made it this far. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you found value. Dislike if you didn't find value. Also leave me a comment below. Are there any other ways you guys are indexing your website inside ChatGPT and other LLMs? But again, appreciate you making it this far. And most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.